Remember this? Here in America, folks who work hard and live their lives, they have an opportunity to live it with dignity and respect. That's what unions are about, in my view, about providing dignity and respect for people who bust their neck. That's why I created the White House Task Force on Worker Organization and Empowerment, to make sure the choice to join a union belongs to workers alone. And by the way, <laughs> by the way, Amazon, here we come. What? Well, that didn't last. The Lever reports that despite promising to halt federal contracts with union busters, last week the Biden administration re-awarded Amazon with a massive $10 billion cloud computing contract with the NSA. Codenamed Wild and Stormy, the contract is distinct from yet another massive multi-billion dollar Pentagon cloud contract, which Amazon is also currently bidding on. This, of course, comes just days after the president publicized his White House meeting with Amazon Labor Union President Chris Malls. Joining us now to discuss is David Sirota. He's founder of The Lever, editor-at-large at Jacobin, and former senior advisor to the Bernie Sanders campaign. Welcome, David. Thanks to both of you. So tell us more about uh, this contract. I mean, I'm, I'm always, every, every time I hear the, the letters NSA in that order, obviously, I get, uh, you know, my privacy concerns uh, go off. But, you know, what is, uh, what is Amazon actually being expected to do here? Well, we don't actually know the details of this contract. It's shrouded in secrecy. Uh, there's a national security exemption for the details of the of the contract, but it certainly we know it's a cloud computing contract, uh, and I, I think certainly there there is a, a privacy question about what the NSA needs with a, a ten billion dollar uh, build out of cloud computing. Uh, the mind can run wild about what what that's all about in terms of surveillance and data collection and 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 the like. Uh, but right now. But 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 we know that Amazon got this contract and we know that it, it got this contract uh, to, in, in a sense twice from the Biden administration. This contract was first given to the company in 2021, basically months after Biden had won the presidency on that promise, uh, in part uh, that explicit promise to deny federal contracts to companies that do not remain neutral in union elections. Then uh, in the middle of Amazon's uh, union drive uh, this year, a couple weeks ago, uh, the NSA re-awarded the contract. There had been a dispute over it. Microsoft had said uh, the contract wasn't evaluated properly, the, the, the awarding process wasn't fair, and the Biden administration doubled down re-awarding that contract uh, despite the president's explicit pledge. And in the middle of the president cheering on Amazon workers. Have we heard anything about this from the Amazon Labor Union or any other union organizers? Has, have any members of the press uh, asked during a press conference about the, the obvious gap between Joe Biden's rhetoric and the award, uh, awarding of this contract? I haven't seen the White House uh, be put on the spot ab about this at all. I, I will say that 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 the Amazon labor union has brought up the uh, the idea that Amazon's behavior uh, may end up making it ineligible for state and local subsidies. That they in a lot of these, and we've reported this. There's in a lot of these subsidy deals, uh, the subsidy deals require Amazon to follow uh, and adhere to labor laws. And so, if the company violates labor laws, and it's been accused of violating labor laws in the way has tried to bust these unions, that may ultimately invalidate those subsidy deals. In New York, uh, there's a coalition asking for the New York Attorney General to investigate whether the subsidies that state has given to Amazon need to now be clawed back because of Amazon's behavior. Yeah. Uh, is there a concern or a theoretical concern, I suppose, you know, what does, uh, does a need to appease the Nas you know, National Security Administration's, um, its interest in collecting our data, spying on people. If you know Amazon working closely with them, d does it work the other way then too? Does Amazon you know change its policies about what it's available or how it's paying attention to who's buying what or what it's doing there based on some kind of NSA uh, 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 demand or demand or subtle demand that they do something like that? That's something I would be worried about. 
It's a, it's a great question. And again, there's very few details about what that contract is. And I think people need to understand how big a contract it is. I mean, federal contracts go out all the time in the millions of dollars, even hundreds of millions of dollars. A $10 billion federal contract, even at the federal government level, that is a huge contract. So whatever they are actually building out with that, whatever the NSA is doing with it, you can rest assured it's a big thing. It's a lot. Well, David, how do we find out what they're doing with it? Is this the kind of thing that's subject to, I don't know, FOIA requests? You know, as a reporter, what's your approach to finding out more here? Well, look, we know that the contract was bid. Uh, we we know that this we know the size of the contract, and we know it's generally about cloud computing. That's what's available to the public. Uh, it's very difficult, uh, save for I guess a leak. It's very difficult to to figure out more of what this is about. Uh, and, and look, in theory, the NSA is telling uh, at least uh, members of Congress in closed session, the oversight committees, what this is about. But again, I go back to the to the union issue, which is that Biden made a specific pledge about uh, about how to use federal contracting uh, to ask to, to require contractors to simply remain neutral in union elections. And he's clearly not doing that. He's not lifted the pen and signed the executive order that he promised. Uh, and the problem with that is that that is the one big uh, leverage point uh, that a, an administration has to really push a company as big as Amazon to do the right thing. Short of that, uh, a lot of what we're seeing is just basically rhetoric with the president expecting no one to, to notice right. that he's not actually doing what he could do. Lip service. That's what it feels like. It's lip service. Yes, exactly. Yeah, and you know, given how many Amazon employees there are, I forget the exact number, I don't know if you remember, uh, David, but it does seem to me that this is really uh, a prime opportunity for, obviously they don't have a um, nationwide, nationwide union yet, but it used to be the case that workers like this had power in political contexts like this because they were willing, they were able as an organization to withhold their vote or to deliver their vote at a moment like, I don't know, a hotly contested midterm season where the Democrats have a lot to, to lose. And it'll be interesting to see whether or not, um, given the energy around this organization effort, people do start to make demands that are more tethered to electoral outcomes as Democrats are asking everybody to turn out and protect for, for constitutional protections like Roe v. Wade and all these other kinds of things. If, if the however many Amazon employees in, across the country were willing to withhold their vote for, let's say, Biden signing that executive order, I imagine that would be something that would be difficult to ignore. Absolutely. I mean, that is the that is what a midterm election, that is what an election is supposed to be for. A politician goes out, makes promises. People vote for that politician based on those promises. Uh, I, I would argue that the that the Biden administration has not uh, delivered uh, uh, for its uh, on its many of its promises for for unions. It has certainly done some things for unions. There's been a better uh, National Labor Relations Board, and that that should not be ignored. That's a real thing. But I think in this case, the the gap is so obvious. It was such an explicit pledge and it is a a, a, a a part of power that a president actually has to use and they just haven't used it. Uh, and, and I think the reason they haven't used it, frankly, is because it is so powerful. Uh, mm. Because there is a wink and a nod here where the president goes out and says things and then doesn't deliver. And this is the kind of thing that actually would compel potentially an Amazon to move. I mean, a $10 billion contract is not a small thing to the government. And it's certainly not a small thing, even to a giant company like Amazon. That's a lot of money. David, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks to both of you. And we'll be back with more Rising right after this.